Come up this way. All right. Hey friend, it's Lux and Riot, and we're gonna give you a girl's guide to the Bluetti AC 200P portable power station. You gonna help? Now, if you're like me, solar power stuff can be a little bit overwhelming. I have learned a lot from Will Prowse, his YouTube channel, his website. I'll link him below. He's like, you know, the guru on solar stuff. So we are gonna cover some technical specs today, but really what I want this to be is an overview for people like me to simplify basically what can this thing do for me and is it worth the money? So as many of you know, I work freelance uh, from the road full time to support myself. Uh, and I'm also taking classes online. So I use my computer eight, nine, 10 hours a day. And then I have, you know, the hobby of YouTube. So let's add on another couple hours. So I need a lot of power and I do have my solar power system. I have the 200 watts of Renergy on the roof of the cargo trailer. And I have a couple AGM batteries that I typically use to power my digital nomad life. And it works very, very well. But there's a better chemistry out there and it's LifePo4, otherwise known as lithium iron phosphate battery. And that's really, you know, the creme de la creme of solar power battery. And that's actually what's in the Blue Eddy. And that is one of the perks of getting this portable power station is you're getting that superior battery and the superior battery chemistry and at an affordable price because you're also getting all of your solar charging, your inverter. Um, and, and we'll go again over all these specs here in a second. But what's really nice is this week as I tested it, um, I found that things were charging quicker and more efficient than they are on my big solar power system that I installed, which is a pretty decent system. I also have videos on me installing that and exactly what I have that I'll link. Um, but let's go back and, and talk specifically about this Blue Eddy and specifically what it can do for you. So again, what I really wanted to see this week is if it can power my mobile office and let me bring some girly creature comforts back into my off-grid no mad life, namely a flat iron, which allowed me to recut the bangs. I don't know. If you like the bangs, let me know in the comments. Let's first go over the tech specs here and the power sources. So something that I found out begrudgingly this week is uh, the solar power suitcase that I borrowed from a friend that I was hoping would be enough to charge the Blue Eddy didn't have enough voltage. It's a 12 volt system. And even in a uh, series as a 200 watt system, it didn't have enough voltage to power the Blue Eddy. So I was a little disappointed in that. I've been in contact with Blue Eddy and something that I have to say is they have excellent customer service and super quick response time. Um, and she let me know that the trouble with uh, the solar power suitcase case that I was using was simply that it was under voltage and recommended I try a couple different ways to charge it. She also let me know that they do sell a compatible 200 watt solar panel. It's uh, $549. And if you were to buy the power station, the AC 200P power station, you can actually get it at a discounted bundle on their website. Again, I'll link that below. And it's like almost $800 savings if you buy the two together. Um, um, I wish that I had enough solar panels to charge this because that's really my preferred way to go about it. But luckily, there are four other ways that you can charge the Blue Eddy AC 200P portable power station. The first other way that you can charge this is from an AC wall outlet. So let's say that you're just a camper or not that you're just a camper, but let's say that you, you know, go camping. You're not doing this as a full-time lifestyle. You have a 110 outlet at home that you can charge this all the way up and maybe you go for a week camping trip and this is what powers your fridge or even an air conditioner it can handle. Um, or maybe you need to take your office with you on the road, it certainly is gonna be able to handle that. But if you can charge this from an AC wall outlet at home, you're fine. The second way that you can charge it is from your car or truck cigarette lighter port. 
uh, which is usually a 12 volt. Unfortunately, in a 12 volt system, it takes about 17 hours of driving in order to charge this all the way up. So like if you were driving over the course of a couple days, which a lot of us do, then yes, you could charge this all the way up from the cigarette lighter port on your car. It does take about half of that time if you were to have a 24 volt system in your truck or car, uh, but not many of us are gonna have that. Most of us are gonna have a 12 volt system. And then you're looking at 17 17 hours of driving and then of course there's wear on your alternator and all that kind of stuff by doing that but I did try it it did get a little bit of charge but I only drove it for a few hours um, but it charged well and you know it's it's an option the third option is a gas generator. Now, if you're like me, the whole point of having a portable power station is so that you don't need the noise, the mess, the fuss, the fluid of a gas or a diesel generator. But you can power this off of a generator, fill this all the way up, and then, you know, you have the quiet and the um, luxury of this more portable system that you don't have to do as much maintenance on. There's no oil changes that need to be done, and there's, you know, really no noise. There's a little bit of fan noise when it kicks on, but nothing like a generator. Now, I do have a friend that has a gas generator, and that is how I ended up charging this all the way to capacity so that I could test it this week. Um, and in the future, I just need to invest in some uh, better solar panels that are gonna be compatible with this because I don't wanna have to use a noisy generator all the time. That's the point of having this thing, right? Now the fourth way that you can charge it that I will probably look into a little bit further, but you do need some special cables you can buy from Blue Eddy, is to charge it right off your lead acid battery. Um, so I could alligator clip uh, connecting from this to my AGM batteries and I can draw power from them to charge this, but I need a special cable that they didn't include, but you can actually charge it off lead acid. Now, something really great is it has a 2000 watt inverter, and that's where it can um, run a refrigerator for a considerable amount of time. It can run, you know, a small air conditioner. For me, it was running my laptop. It powered all of my camera gear. It again allowed me to use a flat iron, which is really great. My Jackery could not. I could use a blow dryer if I so desired. So again, here's where we get some of our feminine creature comforts. Not to say that men don't want to use a flat iron or a blow dryer, but, you know, just saying as a girl myself, something that, you know, I'm interested in. You can run a coffee maker. You know, a lot of us try and keep our homes clean. You can run a small car vacuum off of this. You can also charge your power tools. So I have DIY projects up the wazoo that I plan on doing. As we all know, I have, you know, built out the inside of my trailer myself, built my own bed, and that requires power tools. And so I can recharge all of my power tools using the Blue Eddy AC200P. You can run a toaster. So a lot of us miss, again, some of those creature comforts that you might have in a typical domicile. And in our home on wheels, we want some of those creature comforts. So a toaster, a kettle, a coffee maker, a portable um, toaster oven, a rice cooker, special lighting, lots of different things, a CPAP. There's lots of different things that you can use the AC 200P for that you're not gonna get out of um, some other power systems as reliably with the portability. Now, when it comes to portability, something to know is this thing is just under 61 pounds. So it might not be something that you wanna shift around a lot. Maybe you just put it in one location in your rig and run your solar panels or connect your power to recharge it from wherever you're gonna make its home. It isn't too cumbersome to move around though. I have moved it around a considerable amount and I just, you know, add it to my, to my workout as I'm building these guns up. In addition to the 200 watt uh, AC power inverter, it also comes with several USB ports, a power delivery port. So I'm able to charge my laptop because the MacBook Pro has a power delivery uh, port plug. So I can charge uh, my laptop just that way. It has 12 volt uh, typical cigarette hour, hour lighter 
And then also some ones that, you know, I've never really seen before, not quite sure exactly what they do, but they're there if uh, that's, that's your jam or you have appliances or things that would charge like that. Now what's really cool about this outdoor power station battery is it has the super large capacity. It has that um, premium battery chemistry, the LifePo4 chemistry. So it means that you can also run it really low down to what, what they say is like 10%. Below 10%, you know, you might start damaging the battery a little bit. You're not gonna get as many cycles out of it. But, you know, um, you've probably heard in videos like uh, from Bob Wells or from, um, um, Will Prouse or from Hobotech, I mean, some of these people that are going to be a little more techy about it, you are going to get way more cycles out of the Blue Eddy AC200P than you are from a product like Jackery that has inferior battery chemistry. All right, a couple tech specs. For the battery pack, the rated capacity is 200 watt hours and 40 amp hours. The voltage is 41.5 volts to 58.4 volts. It does have short circuit protection. It also has output over current protection of 70 amps. Its input maximum power from solar panels is 700 watts. So you can actually have up to 700 watts of solar power plugged into this. Its input voltage though has to be between 35 volts and 150 volts, which is why the 12 volt system of those Renergy uh, folding panels would not power it. Also, I did try my little 100 watt folding panel from Rock Bales and it definitely didn't do jack. So you do need enough voltage to make this like register that it's in there. Obviously the AC charging in the car input is a little less relevant. Um, it's gonna be plug and play for that. Solar panels really should be plug and play as long as they have enough voltage. That would be my only thing is, even though you can use a third party solar panel, I was a little convoluted at the fact that you need quite as much voltage, but I guess it makes sense because it's such a huge freaking battery. This thing has 17 out ports, which means you can charge multiple devices at one time. It has a smart touchable interaction LCD display, which is really intuitive. And it has a lot more information and settings on it than you're probably ever gonna use or need. And of course it's eco-friendly, gas-free, quieter, cost-effective. And if I was to compare it to the AGM system that I have, um, for the amount of cycles and for everything all together, this, this is about the same cost as my full solar power system. Now, something, again, you're gonna hear from like Bob Walls on Cheap RV Living is when something fails within one of these all-in-one units, you're kind of SOL. You either have to send it back for its warranty or you know you can't just take this part out and fix it. So for instance, one of my uh, 12 volt outlets recently failed. It's like if this 12 volt outlet failed, then this is just out from your whole system. In my other system, I can just replace it with another 12 volt. So there are, you know, some give and take some limitations, but I have to say, this is aesthetically very pleasing to me. <laughs> My solar power system, I could probably make more aesthetically pleasing, but it's gonna take a lot more work, effort, and money in order to make it so. This is portable, that is not. So let's say that I wanna go truck camping, I wanna go tent camping, I wanna go somewhere that the cargo trailer cannot go. I can bring this and it can power my mobile office while I'm maybe more off into the back country without the trailer, where I cannot do that with my uh, in-house house batteries and, and solar power system. This is easy. It's just easy. It's plug and play. As long as you have the right voltage solar panels, it's so easy where if you were to watch my old uh, solar power videos or even obviously in this one, the complexity of solar power can be very overwhelming and you really don't have to think a lot. And this is going to give you power for like anything. I can't think of like what you would have on the road that this wouldn't be able to handle. value for your money, it's exceptional. Now the unit by itself is $17.99. 
And if you were to get it with the solar panel, uh, right now it's on sale for about $2,700. There's gonna be links in the description box below. Now that might seem like a lot of money, but again, if you're looking into lithium batteries, you are gonna go get Battleborn batteries and all the accoutrement that you need to like, you know, plug stuff into, you're gonna end up spending as much, if not more, and you're gonna have to put it all together. You're gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna have to wire it. And let me tell you, from having done that myself, granted with AGM batteries, but nonetheless, it Having wired a solar power system by myself, I, I kind of like the idea of just having this, plug some solar panels into it, or plug this into a wall outlet, and I'm just done, right? Because I want to go enjoy my life. So I really do like the idea of this very much. And to give you peace of mind, the Bluetti AC200P comes with a two-year warranty, which is pretty darn good, especially if we compare it to like the Renergy products that I have or you know the AGM batteries, which you're really not gonna get that kind of warranty out of. Um, and again, the customer service has been really good. So while I had questions, they were like super fast to respond um, and to give me solutions, like when I was struggling with the solar panels and whatnot. Anytime you get good customer service, I think it speaks a lot about a brand. And that's what you're looking for here. I know that this gets the highest of recommendations from other uh, people that are much smarter than me on YouTube about solar, like Will Prowse, Bob Wells, and Hobotech. So, you know, don't just take my word for it. But as like a simplified thing, what you're really wanting to know is what can this do for me? I hope that showing you how I used it was helpful to you, uh, showing it in action, showing daily life using the Blue Eddy. And, you know, I, I'm very impressed that it was able to charge my entire mobile office and some accessories, you know, add-ons that uh, give me some of those creature comforts for a full week. And we still have about 20% of the battery left to go. It also makes a nice chair for a dog, which also shows that it's very, very sturdy. Um, <laughs> It is where your wireless charging ports are, so maybe that's what's giving her energy. I don't know. Anyway, so can we recommend it? Absolutely. I think it's a really great plug and play option, probably the best out there with the best chemistry, with great customer service, with so many options. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How would you use it? Do you have one? Do you have a power station that you really, really like? Um, and uh, what, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I think it's great, but what do you think? So thank you so much for watching this video. We sure hope that it was helpful. Ryan and I hope to see you in subsequent videos in the comments section, uh, hanging out with us. And please consider subscribing if you enjoy uh, travel and camping content with uh, ladies like us. Oh, oh, and if you could hit the like button, if you liked this video, that's really helpful to us. It, for one, lets us know that you actually liked the content. And then for two, it helps you know with that uh, algorithm so that this content makes it to other people that might find it beneficial. So please do that as well if you don't mind. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye -bye 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 -bye.